What up, Alpha Team? It's DJ Alpha Tyler back again with another reaction. Y'all know around here we do Friday is for favorites. Y'all know we do favorites on Friday. That's what I meant to say. But Tom McDonald also always drops his new videos on Friday. And so we're 100% about that. Tom McDonald's one of our favorites anyway. So Alpha Team, Hangover Gang, y'all both know we're coming for Tom McDonald's track, his new video for cancer. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. I see, though, I'm getting to this a little bit late because I had to work today. But I see this is already number nine on trending. Man, we can do better than that. Listen, if y'all enjoy the reaction, make sure you like this video. Sub to the channel to join the Alpha Team if you haven't already. Ding that notification bell. And don't forget, if y'all are shopping with the coldest water, use the promo code AT for Alpha Tyler to get 10% off your entire order. Now, let's go ahead, jump on into this one. I'm going to say it right now. Number nine on trending, man, we can do a ton better than that. If y'all haven't seen this video, make sure that y'all head over. The link will be in the description below. Make sure you check it out. But also, even if you have, let's go watch it again. I'm going to watch it a couple more times. All that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in, see what Tom McDonald is bringing with cancer. Let's get it. Everybody knows someone who's sick. 40% will get cancer. Only half's gonna live. Your mom and your dad and your sister stand inside a room. And someone won't survive it. Do you hope it isn't you? I swear that cancer has a cure, but they're refusing to make it. They've done like 40 years of research, 90 billion in donations. We've been running for the cure and wearing ribbons for ages. Why are people still going through radiation? It's crazy. Hundred billion dollar industry, they can't afford to end it And nobody wants to die, our only option is to spend it We'd give anything to stick around for just another second Give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it Man, alright, alright, hang on Cause he going through, this is a tough topic to me I lost my grandma to cancer It runs in my family, well I've lost a ton of family members Um, I had a ton more that have gotten it Um, and, and just... I think, and and that's what he said right there. He said 40% of people are going to catch it anyway. I think this is a topic that probably touches almost every single person's life. Like, if y'all don't know somebody that has had cancer, let me know down in the comments. Because genuinely, you know, most people will encounter somebody, whether it's somebody you work with, a friend, a family member. That's a deep topic right there. And like he's saying, though, he's going through the data. He's talking about the facts, man. He's saying, we've been, we've been studying a cure for how long? We've been going through, you know, talking about we've been doing the runs, the walks, the marathons, all that stuff for a cure for how long? And we still haven't found a way to cure this, man? Come on. Why are people still getting radiation? Why are we still putting poison into our blood if y'all don't know chemotherapy that's poison we're putting poison into our blood to combat this stuff you know and we've been fighting this for how long come on now stick around for just another second give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it the profits are astronomic the hospitals and the clinics are filling coffins with dollars it's awful let's just admit it we're all human we'll keep fighting because it's how we survive but it's scary because we don't know where we'll go when we die I know a lot of people want to get on Tom about these hooks, say that they're corny, say that, you know, they, they, what, whatever the case may be. I know a lot of people want to jump on these and, and yeah, I mean, it's lighthearted, it's more auto tune, you know, not really, you know, what's, what's in kind of like a fire hard rap song or whatever, but I mean, it's touching hooks like this that kind of make his songs more memorable because he's saying what he's got to say in the verse anyway. I mean that but that hook right there I mean that's uplifting but more uplifting than that man look at the video look at as a society man how we come together to pick people up and that says so much about our strength as a society you know looking at this little girl right here shaving her head to donate that hair to somebody with cancer man come on nothing matters if you don't have your health all the money in the world doesn't help yeah the good might go to heaven and the bad might go to hell but no one wants to leave here, you can tell. Yeah. 
And cancer touches everyone, it's in our genetics And our world's become so toxic, it's all carcinogenic We've polluted the water, the air, the food we're ingesting Is full of hormones and poison, our population's infected They sell us cigarettes and liquor, built a business on addictions We've been paying them to kill ourselves, we're dying to keep living It's the system, it's a prison, we keep trying to beat it We get cancer from keeping all of our demons a secret And our insurance don't cover the things we need to defeat it and even if it does, then we might die from the treatment Our best defense is living like we do not know what cancer is Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this Man, facts right there what he's going through And I'm, I misinterpreted the video right there The girl wasn't shaving to donate to a cancer patient She was shaving because she's going through If y'all don't know, when you're going through chemotherapy You know, usually you will, you will have the hair loss and everything and so that's why, I mean, you know, I know most people realize that, but throwing that out there, man, he, he talked about a lot right there and he kind of touched on faith and y'all know that faith is something important to me, man. And, and, you know, my faith in what comes after this is what keeps me going. You know what I mean? And it is for a lot of people too. And I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, but what he's talking about here, he, he's saying, you know, regardless of whether you believe, don't believe some people might go to heaven, some might go to hell, whatever the case may be but nobody wants to leave and that's a fact man like we're all attached here right and even if you got faith most people with faith will tell you yeah man like i'm i'm comfortable and i'm happy to know where i'm gonna go after i pass but you know still my wife my daughter like i don't want to leave them i don't want to leave my family i don't want to leave friends and loved ones and all that and he's talking about the industries he's talking about these cigarettes and tobacco and all this stuff, man, we we dump so much money, like five bucks a pack for cigarettes or something, into a product that solely exists to give us a temporary little high and then kill us. And we're dumping this money into these companies, man. And this is all out here. And then to take that a step further, you know, we're talking about we're talking about sickness, we're talking about diseases, we're talking about things that you can't help but catch while we're we're perpetuating these companies that literally only exist to make a product that will kill us. Come on now. He's talking about, you know, praying, just hoping there's something after this. We do not know what cancer is. Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this. Fight when you're afraid And you can't experience strength Till you struggle to carry the weight And you won't know why you have faith Till you look the devil in his face And you don't know what you can take Till you realize you didn't break And let's back that up Let's go through each of those Because they're right there Everything he said was real Struggle to carry and you can experience strength. Hang on, we got one more to go. This is my first time. You won't know how to be brave till you choose to fight when you're afraid. You don't know how to be brave till you choose to fight when you're afraid. He's talking about being in that point where you're so afraid, you don't know what's coming. Then picture that, man, because most of us. We haven't been in a point. We don't know what the future is or anything like that. You don't know how to be brave until you're in that place. And you have to be strong. You don't have a choice but to push forward. Next one he talks about, you don't know how to be strong until you can't carry the weight. And, and, and literally, I mean, think about that. Losing all of your strength and not being able to pick them things up and push on, but still having to. And you can't experience strength till you struggle to carry the weight. And you won't know why you have faith Till you look the devil in his face And you don't know what you can take Till you realize you didn't break Alright, two more things right there you don't, know, you don't know what it is to have faith Until that faith has been tested You don't know what it is to believe in something Until you've really been challenged On whether or not that thing is real and so you've looked the devil in the face. You've looked the enemy. You've looked the adversary in the face. And then that right there at the end, you don't know what you can take 
until you don't break under it, right? Because you'll be tested to your limits, and that's where you find out your actual limits. We all want to quit before our actual maximum. That's nature. That's human nature. Play it out. Let's make sure that there's nothing hidden at the end right here. Alright, so that was Cancer by Tom McDonald. And, you know, Tom sent out the email to the Hangover Gang newsletter. If y'all ain't subscribed, make sure that y'all get up on it because that's where you get the heads up for everything that he's got going on. But, I mean, he sent that out and he said this one's going to make y'all cry. And facts, man, like that right there... That, that, I mean, that, that's soul ripping. I mean, we're looking at that little girl, you know, struggling with that. And that's a real situation, man. That's where real people are in right now. Real children, real adults, real older people, man. We're in a society. We've got this society and we keep this perpetuating. And we haven't found a cure for this. You know, we're still going through this. And it's so much, it's such a sign of how much faith we should have, you know, and, and how much faith some people do have and kind of how they get put in that position where they have to, where they get challenged where they truly get tested and you find out what people are capable of in those situations man a hundred percent like this this song right here it's a real situation it's a real story and it's one that touches people and yo man T Tom did a fantastic job on the track but the video is so moving it's so touching to watch hear what he's saying in this man 100% shout out for this one. Like I said, you know, a track like this is not one that I'm going to pick up and play every single day. It's sad. Sometimes you're going to get into it when you want to get them emotions and feels and stuff like that. But you ain't going to be rocking this one while you're bumping down the road or anything like that. But still, that's the great thing about Tom's music is it's not always about what's going to what's going to be played nonstop. Sometimes it's about just making that music with that message, with that thing that he wants to say that needs to be said, I love and respect him for that. Y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like the video if you enjoy the reaction. Make sure you sub to the channel if you haven't already. Ding that notification bell to get on the notification squad. And whether you have or not already, let's go check out this video again because 100% this is real and this is the kind of music we need to be pushing. This ain't this is the music that needs to be trending. We don't need we don't need a bunch of wops and stuff like that trending on the charts, man. Why is that the stuff that's getting pushed when we have a real message that people need to hear and people can draw strength from? That's all I got for this one. I'm DJ Alpha Tyler. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me for a minute. Hope you're staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and I'll catch you guys next time.